You know, deciding to become a foster parent is life changing. And according to our partners at Connecting Hearts, there is no mold a family has to fit into to provide a loving and caring home for children waiting to be reunited with their biological families. CBS 6's Julie Bragg has one couple's sweet story. Yeah. Been together for 10, ten years this year. Okay. Yeah. So. A year after Jordan and Emily Shea Nielsen got married, Jordan realized something about their future together. And I was like driving home from work, crying every day because I knew I had to have a conversation of like, I can't be complete if I don't have kids. I don't know what to do with those feelings. As a same-sex couple, trying to have a child could mean very invasive and expensive procedures. And honestly, Jordan said she was... Terrified of being pregnant. <laughs> you can't say that on TV. But I just did. <laughs> it was, it was, a, I'll answer that <laughs> one. So when we started hearing a little bit about foster care, we thought, hey, this might be a chance to like, have seasons of parenthood and seasons of, you know, solitude and, and, and go from there. And if we grow our family that way, we do. And if we don't, at least we'll be able to help out in the community. So it's kind of how it all started. Foster parents for four years now, Jordan and Emily, have helped many children. They currently have three girls, 11, 12, and 14, who they now plan to adopt. They arrived as an emergency placement one evening last July. I don't remember what life was like back then. I can't, I can't recall a, a single detail of what life was like before they got here because it just feels like Nothing. they've always been here, yeah. They also have a toddler boy who will soon be reunited with his biological parents. That's always the goal of foster care, but it brings mixed emotions. That loss is going to break that little tiny part of our hearts that he has, but it's where he should be. It's like, if it's safe, that's where he should be. Yeah. And so it's worth it to us for our hearts to break so that their hearts don't have to break any more than they already have. These two moms also believe working with an agency that includes foster parents of all ages, races, and lifestyles sends an important message to the children. This can be like a, this is a life you can have. You can, mm -hmm. you can marry who you love, you can build a home with who you love, you can build a family with who you love. Yep. And it's not just about same sex or, or, or single or married or divorced mm -hmm. or anything else. It's just that kids are impressionable right now and being able to see that whole picture. A picture filled with love and family. Oh, that touched my heart. Coming up tonight at 530, we're going to tell you how you can learn from real life families and their foster care journey to find out more about fostering. And we'll tell you how you can get involved and be a resource for children in foster care, even if you're unable to commit to being a foster parent. That is tonight on CBS 6 News at 530.